Good morning, all. This is uh, Dr. P. Ravindra Kumar, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Lecturer de Biology College of Engineering. So today, uh, I'm going to cover the numerical problems related to the closed systems undergoing the different process. And this is my lecture 11. And this uh, e-content video lecture is uh, developing in association with uh, Andhra Pradesh State Council of Higher Education and uh, JNTK Kakinada. So now, here, uh, after studying uh, the basic fundamentals or the basic concepts, and after then, uh, uh, gone through the first law of a thermodynamics. Now the time has come to solve the numerical problem that is applying the heat and work transfer relations to the various systems, to the various systems, whether it is an open system or a closed system, and how the problems can be solved into this particular case. So the course outcome, after listening this particular content, the outcome, which the a student can be expected is a student has to apply the heat and work transfer relations. Student has to apply the heat and work transfer student has to apply the heat and work transfer relations for various thermodynamic process in closed the system using the first law of a thermodynamic using the first law of a thermodynamic. So now apply the heat and work transfer relations for various thermodynamic process for a closed system. So this is the problem it is mentioned here. So a stationary mass of a gas, a stationary mass of a gas is compressed without friction. Stationary mass of a gas is uh, Stationary mass of a gas is so here the gas is in the compression state. Gas is compressed without friction from an initial state that is the V1 initial state V1 and the pressure this is the, the pressure P1 to a final state of volume this is the V2 and the pressure is also given P2. The pressure remaining constant during the process. The pressure remaining constant during the process. There is a transfer of, see, observe, the, the sentence is also very much important. That there is a transfer of 37.6 kilojoules of heat from the gas during the process. So how much does the internal energy of the gas change? How much does the internal energy of the gas change? So that is uh, to be worked out. Then now here, Apply the basic, uh, uh, that is first law of a thermodynamics. So how you are going to apply the first law of a thermodynamics? Q is equal to delta U plus W. Q is equal to delta U plus W. Now when a system changes, here the gas is compressed and the constant pressure. So uh, try to practice to draw the PV planes so that uh, uh, you can solve the problems uh, in a easily. So whether the PV plane is there in the textbook or not that it is immaterial, but whatever the numerical problem is given, especially related to thermodynamics point of view. So try to draw the, try to draw the, so this is the compression process. So that is, it is uh, uh, from state uh, 0.3. So here it is uh, mentioned as 0.3. It is 0.3 and here, what is that? It is 0.15. So now it is going to indicate it is the compression process. Point, point 0.3 meter cube to 0.15. So it is the compression. So the direction, the direction of uh, process is also very, very much important. So this is nothing but the compression process. Right? So final state and uh, the pressure. So the pressure is uh, constant. It is kept as a constant pressure. That is uh, 0 0.105 megapascal. 0 0.105 megapascal. Constant during the process. There is a transfer of. 
So there is a transfer of 37.6 kilojoules of heat from the gas during the process. From the gas during the process. So from the gas during the process means uh, heat is uh, leaving. Heat is leaving. So but before that one, so this is the first law of a thermodynamics relation. So this is the first law. Right. So according to the first law, Q is equal to delta U. And that is also that you should not forget about now we are in closed system. So this you should not forget. So closed system problems. So that is Q is equal to delta U plus W. Then coming to the one by one, that is when a system changes from state one to the two is equal to that is uh, U2 minus U1 plus W1 to 2. Or in another words, you can also write as Q1 to 2 is equal to this is the U2 minus U1 because it, this is the point function, whereas uh, this one and this one is path function. So <coughs> that is W1 to 2. Now W1 to 2 is equal to P. Uh, already we have discussed the formula that is P into V2 minus V1. So P into V2 minus V1. P that is uh, in terms generally most of the times work is kept in kilojoules. So that is uh, here if you write it as 0 0.105 into 10 cube that is uh, now you can get as a kilopascal into V2. Right. So V2 it is nothing but 0.15 minus 0 0.3. 0 0.15 minus 0 0.3. Right. So what you will get? The answer is minus 15 point minus 15 point 75 kilojoules. 75 kilojoules. So this is the work done. That means here work doing onto the system. So in case of a compression process, you have to give the work input. So that's why the negative sign. Right. So that's why it is the negative sign. Next one is. Uh, now you have to that is there is a transfer of heat so the q that is q is equal to transfer of uh, heat from the gas right so from the gas that is uh, this one you have to observe this is the closed system and uh, this is the gas transfer of heat from the gas this one so that means heat is going out right and a student has to be more careful whether the heat is entering into the system or heat is leaving from the system. That uh, there is a transfer. There is a transfer of 37.6 kilojoule of heat from the gas during the process. So that is Q is equal to it is minus 36.6 kilojoules. See, always this heat and work will be in kilojoules. So apply the first law of a thermodynamics. That is uh, what you are going to get. So when you apply that one minus 37.6 kilojoules is equal to that is the internal energy U2 minus U1 because you need to find this internal energy and this is nothing but minus 15.75 kilojoules. So finally what you will get it is the internal energy. So U2 minus U1 you will get it as the answer is minus 21.85 minus 21.85 kilojoules. So student uh, has to observe this particular. So what this indicates, the internal energy of the system is going to decrease. So the internal energy of a system, internal energy of a system, the conclusion point of what you are going to write is internal energy of a system decreases. Why? It is minus sign is there. If it is a plus sign, the internal energy of the system increases. So that is what uh, the student has to observe. Internal energy of the gas decreases. So this is here. The internal energy of the gas is going to decrease. So in this particular container, the internal energy of the gas is going to decrease because of the compression process. Right. So that is uh, here the compression process, the direction. The direction is very much important in thermodynamics. Magnitude and direction is uh, very much required for the uh, first law of a thermodynamics. 
So according to the first law, then this is the formula you have to apply there and you need to solve this particular case. Right? Hope uh, this particular problem is clear to you. Now going to the next problem. So the problems, so most of the problems which I am going to discuss it from the uh, Pekinak textbook and also the another uh, one is uh, Sontag and Borgnake, Van Villan. So that is the standard prescribed books uh, to you. So most of the problems I am going to discuss from that particular side. Right. So the second problem. Now observe the second problem here so the second problem there is a pv plane is also there pv plane and this pv plane there is a, the process is the cycle is going to complete uh, the cycle is going to be completed by following the various paths this is nothing but the constant volume process this is nothing but the constant pressure process a c b a c is constant volume CB is constant uh, pressure process. CB is constant pressure process. Next, uh, BD is nothing but, so here the direction, observe the direction. BD, it is also the constant volume process. Next, AD, constant pressure process. And this is the direction. BA. So here, when a system is taken from state A, when a system is taken, from state uh, A to B. So this is uh, from state, uh, when system is taken from state A to the state B, along the path A, C, B, along the path A, C, B. And uh, A, C, B, 84 kilojoules of heat flow into the system. 84 kilojoules of heat flow into the system. So that means Q, A, C, B, that is nothing but equal to 84 kilojoules. And the system does 32 kilojoules of a work. And the system does, so what is that? The given uh, data is W, A, C, B. It is a work done by the system. It is nothing but equal to 32 kilojoules. 32 kilojoules of work. Right? So that is the uh, given thing. Now, how how much? So how much will the heat uh, will the heat that flows into the system along the path along the path A D B that is along the path A D B B E that is A D B A D B right? So uh, along the path this is A D B right B. If the work done is if the work done is 10 kilojoules, that is the first bit. Second one is when the system is returned from B, when the system is returned from B to A along the curved path, see the along the curved path, the work done on the process is 21 kilojoules. So in this case, the work done on the process is Q21 kilojoules. Does the system absorb or liberate heat? And how much of heat is absorbed or liberated? Does the system absorb or liberate heat and how much of the heat is absorbed or liberated? If UA, you know, internal energy at the state point A is equal to zero, UD, so this is UD, internal energy at the state point is 42 kilojoules. Find the heat absorbed in the process, heat absorbed in the process, that is AD, that is constant pressure process, and DB that is in a constant volume process. So this is the given problem. Then how you are going to do the, this particular task? So that is nothing but is equal to here, first QACB is given. QACB is nothing but equal to, always the internal energy, that is the final state, that is UB minus 
u a plus w a c b plus w a c b so from this case where uh, you can easily work out q a c b is nothing but equal to 84 that is equal to u b minus u a plus w a c b is 32 32 kilojoules so finally what you will get it is u b minus uh, u a the answer which you are going to be getting is u b minus u a that is equal to 52 kilojoules 52 kilojoules right 52 kilojoules so the first question is how much uh, will the heat flows into the system along the path a d b along the path a d b so that means uh, now how much heat flows so q a d b q a d b is equal to so here also always uh, the final state and the initial state u b minus u a plus w a b w a d b w a d b w a d b then uh, from the, this u b minus u a is nothing but equal to already it is uh, known that it is uh, 52 kilojoule plus w a d b here it is given 10.5 kilojoules so if the work done is if the work done on the system is that is 10.5 kilojoules right how much uh, will the heat flow that flows into the system along the path a d b if the work done is 10 kilojoules so that is uh, here the work done by the system is 10 kilojoules then you will get the answer as 62.5 kilojoules so this is the first that is this is the first bit answer that is a is equal to this one you will get right so that is the first point first part so 62.5 that you are going to get so see uh, how to solve the answer that is how to follow this particular methodology that uh, all the students has to observe this particular procedure right so uh, applying the first law of a thermodynamics uh, to the various system then what you are going to be getting what you are going to be getting then the second bit what is the second bit it is the second bit it is uh, uh, when the, the when the system is returned from b to a along the curved path the work done on the system is 21 kilojoules so work done on the system is kilo that is uh, here the system is writing that is b to a is equal to so here also u b minus u a plus w b to a plus w b to a so here 